YouTube, what's up? This is part two to the video for 25G installed on the um, DSM. Sorry, last video shut off for me. GoPro got hot. I don't know why, but that's the second time that's happened. I'm about to call GoPro and um, complain to find out why this is happening. Pay five dollars for this, man. It shouldn't be getting hot, especially on a video that's recorded less than an hour. You know what I'm saying? But back to the 25G. This is it right here. Um, it's on. I would say difficulty level, scale 1 through 10, 10 being the worst, 1 being the easiest. It was like, it's like a 5. Like I said in the last video, this spacer is a must. It's an adapter to the 05. You need that. Um, everything else bolts right up. Don't need anything else to uh, get the job done. Like I said before, this actuator is a billet actuator. It does come with a spring in it that is a uh, 20 PSI spring. So basically it will be 20 PSI. Like I said in my last video, I'm looking to be anywhere between 25, 28 on the street. Dyno, 32 to 35. And, you know, hopefully I get the power that I get. On their website, they did say 25G is compatible for 500 plus horsepower. I don't think, you know, it's compatible to hit 6 unless you're doing E85. But on pump, I'll say with a built motor like mine's and a good, good tune, solid tune, like 530 to the wheel, I, I would say. And, and that's more than enough than what I want. I want 5. If I get more than 5, then I'm straight with that. You know, but the five is, is the goal. Um, thanks, like, subscribe to the channel, Ghost Mods. I'm going to be bringing up another video on the breakdown on my car as far as the transmission goes. Now, I do have a 97 GST 7 bolt, and I have a GSX transmission in it. So, in the next video, I'm going to explain to you guys why I went the GSX transmission and how I did it and how much did it cost and was it worth it. Alright, until next time, stay up, keep your cars going, let's talk, message me on the bottom, any advice, anything you need, holla at me. Take care, guys.